What's up again, Instagram and YouTube? JJ's back. Now, I just recently um, uh, switched my Instagram account to business, all right? In order to gain more insights to my profile and my uh, on each post that I on each post that I put up, okay. I decided to get back into the business side of to the, the business side of Instagram because well, I know what to prioritize now. I know I pro I think I got a good idea now how to engage on Instagram, especially in 2020. All right, but rest assured, I am not going to use schedulers anymore. All right, for me, it's um, well, number one, it's inauthentic, and number two, it's well, it's rather pressuring. All right, during social well, before I was using schedulers, all right, so during social media planning week. I'm always pressured to put up at least four posts in a month, all right? Four posts, one post a week. So the pressure is so no, the pressure is always on, right? The pressure is always on. Now, after watching um, after watching Gary Vaynerchuk's mega post on YouTube, it validated what I uh, what I did. Um, a few weeks a few weeks before that not to decide on not to use schedulers anymore yeah he validated it for me actually so schedulers make your make your content inauthentic and well it's it's more stressful actually to use schedulers because you're pressured to to come up with content ideas all right i want it i want uh i want my social media in 2020 to become more spontaneous more spur of the moment all right but i know i know my obligations to my brand deals okay i know my obligations i don't i don't uh i don't forget that right now if you're still using schedulers keep on using them all right especially if you're just starting out now, right now, I think schedulers would be useful if you're if you got several brand deals uh, going for you. All right, schedulers are are a uh, are a fantastic way to to streamline to streamline your brand deals because, well, for example, I'm into a brand, my hand sanitizer brand deal. Uh, Spartan Hands on little the little water banner brand deal. I'm required to post three times a week. Alright. But despite that, I don't use schedulers because well if you're endorsing if you're if you're an influencer for a um, for a hand sanitizer, you have to you have to be spontaneous about your posts. You have to be really spontaneous. You have to capture the moment as it happens. Like you, the actual usage of the product so yeah depend depend is a brand one but if you're just starting out use a scheduler or if you're if you got several brand deals going for you schedulers are a good way of relieving you of the pressure of spontaneously creating content all right so for me I don't use schedulers anymore and um, because I and right now I believe that not using schedulers will be beneficial for my Instagram account, okay? Because it's now it's now switched to business, so I won't be getting those uh, I won't be getting those content blocks, those engagement blocks that I used to get, right? If you haven't uh, if you haven't uh, what you call this, I've already done a video on that probably oh right here the phone tab the very first entry of the phone tab diaries i think that was that was about that was about the content block right just check it out in the just check it out in the playlist all right catch you later